Hey YouTubers, got something new for you today. It's a small piece of coral. It's about two inches by three inches. About mm, five eighths inch thick on the thick end. But it's a piece of heat treated coral. And one of the point types we're going to make with this coral is called a hardy. It's a hardy bevel, hardy plane. One's beveled, one's not. But that's basically the size of a piece they would probably use wouldn't be much bigger than this they wouldn't need much to make these points they're, they're pretty small they're about maybe an inch and three quarters wide and two inches long is the average the uh, one thing about a hardy is they're they're thin they have a front side and a back side <laughs> of course we all knew that um, but the beveling is unique on a hardy the the bevels or a right hand bevel. If you're holding the point, say this is the base and this is the tip, you'll see that the bevels will be on the right hand side. And then on those bevels there will be fine, micro fine serrations. I mean teeny tiny. And how do they do that? Did they use I guess uh, another piece of chert, a harder a raw chert, a raw piece of coral, some flint, or um, do they use uh, animal teeth? But has animal teeth been found in hardy sites? Uh, that's one thing that would last. The enamel would, would definitely last. Um, have they found small tools, gravers, what they call a graver? We're going to try one of these. I hadn't, hadn't tried a graver type point yet. A tool. And, uh, but it's a real fine edge. And I've actually got it where it's rhomboid shaped. And it's real, I dulled the tip of it so it doesn't break off whenever I start to flake with it. But uh, we're going to make a hardy, and then we're going to try to flake it with, that's a piece of raw coastal plains from Georgia. And this is more that area, coastal uh, plains material. Of course, this is a broke point. Many tears went into this one. The, um, we're going we're gonna to work it into a tool. And we'll use the edge of it, and it's raw. So it won't flake as easy as this cooked material will. The cooked material is brittle. The raw material is tough. So we'll see what we can do with a piece of material. And then maybe we can get some um, input on some of the pieces that are found in sites um, associated with the tools. So maybe we might be able to figure out why the hardy bevel has micro fine serrations and how are they made. Okay. We'll start out with this piece of raw coral. It's pretty. Pasco County Coral. I think it's got a lot of polyps in it, so it's going to be a pretty piece. It's got some blues in it. It's got a little crack right there. But I hope it doesn't affect it any. Okay. I'm going to use copper to biface it out. I know this may sound odd, y'all, but this ain't the same piece of coral. I shot a flake on the other one. Shot this flake. Went over and rolled out the other side. So it made my hardy a little thinner than I wanted it. So we're not going to use that. But it was a good attempt. piece of pinhead from Pasco. But as you see it doesn't take a, a big piece to make a hardy. So
this particular pin head has a real fine thin, probably about a sixteenth inch thick layer of um, patination around it, cortex, whatever you call it on this here coral. And boy, I mean it is. You just about can't flake through it. All the hardies that I have, they're all broke, of course, but all the ones that I do have are definitely, I mean, some of them are eighth inch thick. I mean, some of them are paper thin, but uh, they're no bigger than a quarter at the most. But let's see what we can get this one down to. I'm hoping we get it pretty thin to demonstrate how a... Uh, Hardy bevel. Was flaked. And the thinner it is, the easier it is to make those little micro serrations. And heat treated material also helped in the process. It's a little brittle, but it makes um, nice flaking, easy flaking. Ooh, I missed my mark there. I wonder if I didn't break it. All right. Got that side kind of straightened up there. It's a real time now, so you're watching how fast it takes for me to make a, a hardy.